we're going to take a quick look at the bool tools add-on so if you go to edit preferences add-ons and type in b-o-o-l and uh, put a little check mark in the box and save your preferences you'll have the add-on enabled now this is going to be your best friend especially if you don't have box cutter or hard ops so uh, you can find this under object bool tool and you'll see it's right here but if you press the n key bring out side panel go to edit you'll find bool tool here as well and this is actually quite useful because there's a little section here that'll pop up as we do some bullions so if i press shift d i'm going to duplicate this and just uh, move it out scale it and i'm going to make another one as well so we'll do two at the same time all right and maybe scale this one up just move it something like this all right so we got these different shapes going I'll do that. Okay. And so I can click this, click this, hold shift, click this. This is going to be the object that remains. So if I do a difference, uh, it's going to do it like so, right? If I do a union, it joins them all together. Intersect, that's where they all combine together in the middle there. And slice creates like little cuts and stuff like that. So um, auto boolean is destructive. All the ones we just did. Brush boolean, on the other hand, uses modifiers. So we go to the modifier panel. We'll see here, we can hit difference. It turns them into wires, it sets up the modifiers, and it also uh, picks the object right here for you, all automatically. So this is non-destructive, all right? And you can move it around like so. You can go in here and go into edit mode with these as well. Hit Control b you can do bevels or whatever you want. Not a big deal, right? So if I want to maybe bevel this section here, just like that, all right? Now, if you want these to move with this object, what you can do is you can select this and this, and you can parent this, parent them to this by hitting Control p Object, Keep Transform, all right? So now when you move this one, they move along with it. Uh, there's a couple other options in here. You can actually do hide bold objects, which is nice. You can apply everything, which is also nice, and you can remove everything, so it'll do it back to the way it was. You have um, a little list here, so you can hide the uh, effect in the viewport, but you can also remove individual booleans by hitting the X, and you can reorder them with the up and down arrows, which is quite nice. Now, uh, you can also select these. You just press H to hide them. Notice in the outliner, there was three objects, but now there's two. If you expand this open, they're actually um, under here now. They're part of the main cube. So you can unhide them here with the eye icon or hide them as well. And uh, you can also press Alt-H to unhide everything. So that's how that works. Little bonus here. Um, this is my mouse. And on my mouse, I have a select more and select less setup. This is actually a macro, though. And this macro is control number pad plus, control number pad minus for those two. Okay. And so bull tools, by default, uses those. Um, so control, but I've rearranged them a little bit. So I got control number pad plus, control number pad minus there. And um, you can right click on these, though. And you can uh, change the shortcuts around however you see fit. I just so happen to use basically the same thing almost. Uh, you can also add this to your quick favorites. So if you want to press Q and bring them up on quick favorites, you can bring them up, which is quite nice. And this is going to kind of turn bull tools into a power tool for you. Uh, and it's going to help you out quite a bit here in Blender. All right. Now, uh, select more or less is normally what I do in edit mode. So under selection, more or less is right here. However, in object mode, even though it's still there, more or less, uh, it doesn't seem to conflict, even though it's using the same shortcuts here. Okay, so what ends up happening is, if I remove all of this, right, um, what ends up happening is I can select these and now I can just use my mouse to quickly do Boolean operations. And if I hold shift and use my mouse, right, I can actually do the non-destructive method as well. So even though uh, Hard Ops has all this stuff in it and it works quite well in Hard Ops, it's actually a little bit better for non-destructive workflow in Hard Ops. But uh, if you don't have it, uh, that option now exists for you and it's super efficient and fast because you might just uh, want to apply everything and then say, uh, I'm going to use machine tools here to rip that face and then extrude it up, scale it in. Maybe I want to alt z see through it bevel this go back to object mode move it down into this one and then subtract it and so you can do some quick modeling uh, without any problems really maybe i want to subtract that from there and then join these two you can see how fast 
pull tools helps this process, especially when you have them set up um, in as a single button click, basically. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out the pull tools add-on, and uh, I'll check you out next time. All right, take care.